Hi guys, we're back again. We're doing another spindling lesson on Angora today. We love Angora. So we sell these lovely little bags of Angora here in the shop. Little 10, 20 gram bags for $10. You know, I am not the biggest fan of Angora, but my favorite way to spin Angora is with a drop spindle. So you'll get your little bag of Angora and you'll pull out, look how long this is, absolutely gorgeous. You'll pull out a handful, okay? Not even a handful. Look how little, that is like a pinch of Angora and you're gonna fluff it, okay? Because we spin Angora in the cloud. My gosh, this is lovely. <laughs> this is English Angora and it's absolutely my favorite. That's why I picked it today. And we're gonna take our, our spindle. This is our basic level spindle. It is about an ounce and a half, which is actually really heavy for a spindle. So, as you can see, I am I have roving on here that I've already yarn I've already started. So I'm gonna spin it clockwise, like always, and I am just going to draft out my angora. I am not parking right now. I am just spinning it. If I am just learning, I am going to spin it, feel the twist build up in my fingers, stop it, park it, and then draft it out. Inch at a time, inch-ish. As it's really long on my arms, really close to the camera. Okay, I'm gonna wind it back on. But as you can see, I can get a fairly nice thin yarn with a drop spindle and it's not even that tight. Look how, look at what my plied yarn will look like. You don't have, if you have a nice long staple, you don't have to spin it tight. It can be nice and light. So there you go. You too can spin Angora with a drop spindle. 